Hey everyone, welcome back to part seven of my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. In this video, we are going to look at using the compressor and using the side chain detection filter on bass. So if using side chain detection filters on vocals is my number one most common use of the detection filter, using it on bass is a very close second. So in the demo project here, I already have a compressor pulled up on the bass. This is more or less just controlling the dynamics. And one of the things about bass, like if you're a bass player or a guitar player, you probably already know this, but in certain spots on the neck, when you play further up on the neck, you'll actually end up getting more perceived bass. Like the bass will sound louder. The bass frequencies will sound louder in certain spots, certain resonant areas on the neck. And so if you don't compress your bass guitar, you end up with these areas like here, for example, where the dynamic really comes back down and then comes back up. So, you know, part of it comes down to playing technique, whether you're using a pick, whether you're using your fingers, but also where on the neck are you playing? And so we want to make these softer areas a bit more uniform. And that's what this first compressor is already doing. And in this, I am not using the side chain at all right now, but let's give this a listen. In the shadow. And if I solo the bass without the compressor. So this whole area here is a lot softer than the area before it or after it. And then with the compressor in. And you can see we're using a pretty slow attack time and a slow release time as well, just to sort of really pull down the notes that are louder and then we're compensating with makeup gain. So that's gonna pull up all of these lower areas. Now, the clicks that you're hearing in there where the string is touching the pickup, that's a stylistic choice. It's also a technique uh, choice. And we are going to reduce that, but we're gonna do that with another compressor right after this one. But for now, I want to bring in the sidechain filter and apply it mainly to the low end. I really just want the most subby frequencies to trigger the compression. So let's dial in this uh, low pass filter here just so we're only getting the subbiest frequencies. And obviously now we're going to be able to dial in a little bit more compression to control those louder, bassier parts. And notice now there's no transient information in the side chain either. Okay, so we've got our bass sort of leveled out, but the problem is there's just a lot of little clicks in there that I really wanna get rid of and, and reduce. Now, if you wanna fully get rid of them, I would recommend using like a D-click plugin or going through and just manually editing them out. That will you know take a while to do, but here I still want them in there. I just want them to be much quieter. So let's add another compressor after this first compressor. And for this one, I'm gonna go to probably the clickiest area in the entire track, which is like right over here. Okay, so let's go over to our side chain. Let's turn on the filter. Let's use peak mode for this since we're gonna be working mainly with transients. And let's put this in the high pass filter mode and let's just get the clicks in the high pass filter.
Okay, so we've isolated those transients. Let's turn the filter on and then let's dial in our compressor setting. I really just wanna reduce these by, I don't know, maybe four or five dB. So again, without the compressor. With the compressor. And I'm using a very short attack and a very short release. So just those transients are being affected. Let's listen once more with the bass soloed from the beginning and then I'll do a listen with everything in. Yeah, I just need to pull the uh, threshold down a little bit more to pick up some of these more subtle ones in the beginning. Notice how it doesn't affect the actual transient of the bass notes. It's only affecting those little slap sounds because we isolated those frequencies in the detection filter. If I hadn't done this with the filter, all of the transients would be tamed and we'd end up with a bass line that has no punch to it. So we don't want that either. All right, let's give this a listen in the mix and then we'll just sort of uh, dial up the makeup gain if we need some additional bass. Shadows, I can't forget you. Oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The melody echoes inside my heart, like the beat of a Yeah, it's not like a drastic difference. We're not completely removing the click sounds, but when I bypassed the compressors, uh, it was around here somewhere, I could still hear those clicks in the context of the mix. Now with these two compressors on here, we've got more dynamic control over our sub frequencies, more consistency throughout the bass part, and we're also reducing those hard clicking sounds. Okay, so that just about wraps up the sidechain detection filter. Now we are going to be using this section throughout the course. So that's why I wanted to cover this stuff at the front of the course, just so everything else in the course uh, makes sense and everyone's on the same page. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.